Running a complex neural network on a phone should be impossible. It would be too slow and drain your battery. And the solution for this was the neural engine, a dedicated accelerator that delivers orders of magnitude gains in performance per watt for neural network inference. To start, the math that powers neural networks was a bad fit for our old computer chips. This created the need for a third pillar of compute, the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. A CPU is built for complex, one-at-a-time tasks, making it extraordinarily inefficient for the simple, repetitive arithmetic of AI. A GPU is a significant improvement due to its parallel nature, but it still carries the overhead of being a general-purpose graphics engine. An NPU, by contrast, sheds this generality. It's a purpose-built accelerator that dedicates its silicon and power budget almost exclusively to the core mathematical functions of AI, like matrix multiplication, resulting in orders of magnitude improvements in speed and power efficiency for those specific tasks. An NPU is an application-specific integrated circuit that sacrifices general-purpose programmability for fixed-function hardware, enabling extreme efficiency for one specific job. And that one job is being a hyper-efficient factory for matrix multiplication. The inference process of a neural network is fundamentally a series of these operations, where input data is multiplied by the model's learned weights. This makes matrix multiplication the computational backbone of the entire system. So how do you build a factory for that one job? First, you pack the chip with thousands of tiny specialized circuits called MAC units. Their only job is to multiply two numbers and add them to a total. The true innovation, however, is the systolic array architecture. This design enables massive data reuse by rhythmically pipelining data through the MAC units, directly solving the memory access bottleneck that cripples traditional von Neumann architectures. And then it's optimized for low precision arithmetic, like FP16. This leverages the resilience of neural network inference to lower precision, a trade-off that sacrifices a degree of numerical accuracy to effectively double performance and have the memory footprint. The most prominent and impactful example of an NPU is the Apple Neural Engine. But the reason it performs so well compared to its competitors isn't just because of raw power. Its real advantage can't be understood by looking at the chip in isolation. Its capabilities are magnified by its deep integration into the Apple Silicon SoC. By offloading AI tasks to the Apple Neural Engine, the CPU and GPU are freed to handle other critical system functions, preventing stutter and saving battery. The single most important system-level feature is Apple's unified memory architecture. Traditional PC architectures have separate memory pools for the CPU and GPU, requiring slow, power-hungry data copies across the PCIe bus. Unified memory architecture creates a single high-bandwidth memory pool accessible by all processors, CPU, GPU, and Apple Neural Engine, eliminating data duplication and creating a zero-copy advantage. To further mitigate latency, Apple Silicon uses a large shared system-level cache. This on-die cache keeps frequently accessed data close to all processors, avoiding power-intensive round trips to the main DRAM. The Apple Neural Engine's real-world performance transcends its raw TOPS rating. It's an emergent property of a vertically integrated SOC, where features like unified memory architecture and the SLC provide a decisive system-level advantage.